Now let's look at a graph of a binomial distribution. A packet of lettuce seeds is guaranteed to have a 95% germination rate. I'm going to plant 10 seeds in my winter garden, uh, make a graph of the distribution. So in my calculator, here I'm going to, in L1, I'm going to put a list of the possible number of germinated seeds. I started with 0 and I went to 10. In L2, I'll clear it out first so we're not confused. In L2, I'm going to make it a binomial PDF, 10 seeds, 95% germination rate, and my X value is in L1. There it is right there. All of these numbers ought to add up to 1. You can see they're pretty small because it has such a high germination rate, it's super unlikely that none of them will sprout. Uh, so here we go. I'm going to make a histogram now. So I'm going to make a stat plot. It's a histogram. My X list is L1 and my frequency is L2. I hit zoom 9 and it gives me these big giant blocks because this block goes from 0 to 10. This block goes from 10 to 20. What? All right, so let's change my window, and I really want to count by ones instead. Now when I graph it, I get this graph. Perhaps I could zoom in a little bit. So let me change my X max maybe to 12. There it is. I can hit trace and see even though you can't see it, there's actually little tiny bars over there that grow until I get to 10 and then nothing after that. So there is my histogram and how to do that on a calculator.